how quickly I forget that some of the things that I do every day are actually fun. Like taking myself to the park in the morning before work when hardly anybody is here and taking myself for a walk. That's fun. So here I am. When I was here last, it was really busy and there were a lot of people. And this gives me a whole new view. Another way that I have fun is that I wear fun earrings. My daisy earrings are a lot of fun. They make me happy, they're silly. Another way that I have fun, as you saw in my last video, was when I went to the thrift store and I bought a clock that looks just like my daisy earrings. That was a lot of fun. So let's not forget all the little bits and pieces of our day where we can infuse fun. Yesterday, although that was a really important talk that I had, and an important video that I made, as I saw in the comments, there are many people around my age who are trying to find their way back to fun. In this video, I want us to remember through my breathlessness as I'm walking up a hill, <laughs> that fun can be found anywhere. Let me show you how fun this is, that there's this tree that's leaning into the sun and the fall colors are in full bloom on this third day of fall 2024. Now, it's going to be like 96 degrees in Southern California today, so that's kind of sucky. <laughs> but um, I'm wearing my fun fall dress and my favorite fun necklace and my favorite fun earrings. So today is a day where I'm turning the tide. Okay, downhill. No, it's not all downhill. I am now walking downhill. So the breathlessness will temporarily stop. My job as an elementary school teacher um, used to be fun. <laughs> Working with seven and eight year olds um, used to be fun. It's not so fun anymore because um, there's such this push to make sure our students are college and career ready when they're seven. <laughs> so um, there's very little time for all the fun things like drawing, like playing, like outdoor games and PE and fun projects and all the things that I remember as an elementary school student. Um, which is one of the reasons why I need to leave this career in the next few years. Because I don't want to be brought down that far in my own psyche um, and left with nothing. So that's a story for another day. Oh, and by the way, I'm going uphill again. <laughs> Life is an uphill battle, no, challenge, ride, um, whether you're going uphill or downhill. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's good both ways. And it's going to be bad both ways. Life has to have all of it. That's the balance. Okay, now it is literally all downhill from here. <laughs> so since my last video when I was questioning how to have fun and I was actually doing that sitting on this bench right here that I'm now walking past. I had a very difficult night that night. Uh, I was kind of sad, feeling low talked with my with my mic <laughs> and we made some commitments as a couple 
about how we could start taking care of each other better. And I'm hoping to make some videos about that, about our relationships going forward. I've got to ask him his permission though. I can't share information about him and us if that's not okay with him. But I woke up this morning feeling very renewed and refreshed and ready to infuse the fun back into my day. I don't know if this means that I'm not in burnout anymore. Um, I don't know how I will feel at the end of this work day, but this morning I'm feeling very hopeful and positive. I'm feeling capable and I feel like a little load has been lifted. I can't quite figure out why. I just know it's how I feel. So um, it could just be that I'm energized from being out here, but I felt it before I even got here. I'm about to walk past some little old ladies huffing and puffing up the hill. Well, one is, and the other is about my age probably. So I'm just gonna keep on talking. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um, so the fun that I can infuse in my day today, since work is always stressful, is I can try to bring my fun attitude, I guess, um, instead of my dread. And I've been bringing dread with me to work the last couple of weeks because that's just how it's felt. So I'm going to try this and see. Um, I'll see. Like I said, I can't make any promises because my job is a very fast-paced, high-energy <laughs> kind of situation when you're in a room with 24 or 7-year-olds. Um, so we will see how it goes. But that's what I'm hoping for today. Um, yeah. I've been reading a book that I want to tell you about that I just started um, that if you are a regular viewer of mine and you've already connected with me in the comments and I know you, I think you will benefit from this book as well. It's by a new author named Annie Paquette. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And her book is called a Splendid Mess Chronicles of a hmm, Misfit. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm butchering the name of this book, but it's <laughs> A Splendid Mess is the main part of the title. And just reading that book, starting it, has already given me some hope and feeling like there's some sense of understanding. Um, because Annie is also a highly sensitive person and identifies as neurodivergent. And her book is uh, her, a chronicle of her life, um, understanding that this is who she is and what she needs out of the world. So I really recommend that you consider reading, reading that book. Um, and following her on YouTube, because she does have a YouTube channel, and she is a lovely, vibrant, happy, intelligent. <laughs> that's okay, it's lovely. <laughs> I have a cute little dog that's down here, actually a very big dog that's following me, but it's lovely. Anyway, check out her book. Um, I have got to make a beeline for my car right now because I don't want to be late for work. <laughs> And um, we will talk again another time. By the way, if you want to watch the video about um, me questioning whether or not um, how we can find fun later in life, you can watch this video next. Thanks.